So, something that's just really heavy on my heart right now. Uh, you know, kind of started thinking about this more whenever uh, one of my, my buddies was asking me questions about this. And then, you know, talking with my fiance this morning, we're talking about finances and everything. And she, she's definitely better off financial, financially than me as far as no debt and stuff like that. And it really got me thinking about where I've came from with that exactly because I definitely had a lot more debt than I have now. I still do have debt. I still am not, you know, financially stable, I guess you could say, but I'm not financially prosperous. Uh, there's still a lot to do before I get anywhere near that to a, fi especially at a financial point that I want to be at. That's a, you know, a good ways off unless there's something crazy happens. But anyways, if you're there, you feel like you're barely swimming. I've been there. When I moved to South Carolina late 2015, so basically three years ago, I was barely making it. You know, I was uh, had been living at home with my parents before that uh, in Texas with no state income tax, lost my job. I was out of a job for about three months, so I was living off of some savings that I had. Uh, Still had a lot of student loan debts, a car, well, a truck that was too much for me. And then I moved to South Carolina. Didn't realize there was a thing as state income tax. So I came over here. I tried to get more money, but they, you know, were cheap corporate. They, you know, when you first start out, they want to be super cheap. Anyways, uh, and so I ended up coming for the same amount of money as I was making. But... South Carolina has 7% state income tax. So I was basically like, I took a 7% pay cut. Now cost of living where, you know, obviously I had to move into apartments. So that was an additional expense that I wasn't incurring before. So just all these things. And I was struggling to make ends meet. Struggling at making $60,000 a year. And if I'm not exaggerating. I was struggling, you know, uh, I, I was single at the time. Then I got a girlfriend. She wanted to go out. And it was tough. You know, I would try and make things happen. And then I had started listening to Dave Ramsey. And he really helped me out. You know, it's talking about the, you know, debt snowball, stuff like that. And I started applying that to my life. And, uh, you know, that's when I got a budget. So that was a huge thing. You know, getting a budget and figure out what I was actually spending. Because I would just like, oh, this is what I got. Uh, so I got in the bank account, so I can or can't do this, or y'all you know, do this, and I'll just put some of it on credit card, you know, figure it out later. And that's the worst spot to be in. And so once I put that budget in place and started applying the principle that Dave Ramsey says with the debt snowball, things really started happening. And another thing I did, which if you don't have a budget, start with that. And then once you get that budget, next thing you need to do is figure out instead of thinking man i can't get out of this man there's nothing i can do think of things you know rather than rather than trying to add money you know to your bank account you know your salary picking up another job think of ways you can cut expenses that is a very easier approach and more feasible because you're probably already working at least 40 hours a week you've got to think of something else so start cutting back you know and there, there's plenty of things you could do to cut back uh one thing i did was i ended up moving uh to georgia for a year it was a pay increase so that definitely helped but another thing i did was i i got two roommates i went to a college town i was well, I guess 25 at the time, something like that. And I got roommates, college roommates. But you know what? I went from, from paying like $800 a month in rent down to like 450 and that was everything. You know, 800 was my rent. Plus I had to pay, you know, property insurance, electricity, water. Uh, I didn't have gas there, but, you know, I had to pay for utilities as well. And then I moved to Georgia 
into a college town, got two roommates, and I only pay four fifty a month. So basically, I cut my my apartment, you know, living cost in half there. And then what I did was sold my truck. These were not easy things to do, but I realized a seven hundred and forty dollar payment a month on a truck was ridiculous. I shouldn't be doing that. At this point, I was making seventy thousand dollars a year. So keep that in mind. Single guy, seventy thousand dollars a year, living with two other guys that are still in college. Does not sound great, but work through that. Got to you know trade my truck in for a car. Yes, I had to take a loan out on it because I owed on owed more on the truck than it was worth. And then I uh, I. I Paid off the car, paid off some, paid off one of the big student loans, still have uh, two, you know, but working on those now, and then then I, I just kept pushing forward, you know, and I, I try to save up some money, uh, so if I, I've got you know, savings in the bank, and then I was finally more financially stable. So fast forward back in South Carolina. Went back down because I wanted to get back to South Carolina. So I went back down to, um, I think it was like 56000 a year, basically what it was. I started at $28 an hour. Uh, worked that for a while. Got up to 30 So that was 62 for a year uh, based on 40 hours a week. Uh, this past year, I made $90,000. Now, I still have those two student loans I'm working on. Uh, but I did end up buying a house. Um, I put 5% down, so probably not the smartest thing and, you know, maybe shouldn't have gotten a house, but I really want to move into a house rather than an apartment. Uh, and you know, I have some savings and now I've made a career change. So now I'm making $0 an hour. I kind of put myself back in that situation, but I say all this to say there is a brighter side to everything. You just need to think differently. Think outside the box. Talk to somebody about it. They'll probably give you some suggestions you haven't thought of. So please, just because you're financially in stress right now, look, two years ago, I couldn't have written a check for $1,000. Right now, I could if I really needed to. In two years, I made a huge change. When you look back on two years, it's like, wow, that wasn't long ago. But of course, in the moment, you're like, two years from now? That is so long, but I promise, be patient, be persistent, and make a plan. Start with that budget and then decide things that you can cut out of your expenses. And I promise it's all gonna be worth it in the end. So I know I am much happier where I'm at now instead of stressing about, I gotta get that paycheck, I have to go to work, I can't miss work, you know, otherwise I'm not gonna be able to make these bills, I'm not gonna be able to make my truck note, I'm not gonna be able to make my apartment note, I'm not gonna make have food to eat, you know, pay utilities, all this stuff. I was so worried about that. You know, I was staying in a house, wouldn't even turn on the, the heater in my apartment because I had to save money. The only time I turned on was when the girlfriend was coming over. And even then, I wouldn't turn it up very high. Uh, so it would be like on average like 65 in the house during the winter. And, you know, it, 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 I mean, it's not much higher than that because I just don't like it being hot. I get really hot really easily. But it, besides the point, you know, I intentionally didn't turn the heater on because... I was trying to save that much money because I was that strapped for cash. So, you know, it, it's going to take a while and you might not be fortunate enough to have a salary as high as I did, but just because I had the higher salary, I was still struggling too. There's plenty of people struggling out there with different salaries. I commend you if you were doing really well, especially with a salary below, you know, fifty, sixty thousand $60,000 a year. I really commend you. Honestly, I have no idea how you can do that. But, you know, kudos to you. So please think about this. Make that budget. Make some plans. Contact me if you need to. I'm, I would love to share some more information and help you out where I can. Because I know this is a hard thing to do. Guys, really think about this. Stay safe. Be strong. Be persistent. And have a healthy and blessed day.